Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Doc Project 365, episode 1766. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewaddoc.com and check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today, what we're doing is talking about this sucker right here, the sternal clinomastoid SCMs. You guys might have heard it called that. It gets its name because it has two attachment points right here on your sternum and on your clavicle, and then it follows its way up to the backside of your skull where it attaches to a process that's called the mastoid, hence the name sternocleidal mastoid. These suckers get super tight when we fall into these positions where we have that forward head carriage, right? We'll start to get a bunch of tension on through here and we'll build up some pressure and some uh, some trigger points and not. So what I'm gonna do is talk to you about how we can self-release these today. What you're gonna end up doing is taking the opposite hand of the side that you're working on, okay? Now with that, if I can make that stick out a little bit again, you can see that. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the opposite hand and I'm gonna start to like dig with my thumb just see how I start to press that tissue up right there. As I do that, as I press that tissue up, I'm gonna come around with my opposite fingers and now I have a little pinch point. You're not going deep here. You can feel the muscle. The muscle is pretty darn apparent as comparison to the rest of the stuff that's there. You're not gonna squeeze in your windpipe and not know it, right? But um, as we get in there and we, and we get onto that sternal clidomastoid, as we get onto that SCM, I want you to start as low as you can. And all I want you to do so I want you to start to go back and forth like if you're rolling like a piece of dough or something like that. And you're just going to go back and forth for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you're going to move up uh, like a thumb width, right? Because you just, that's that's all you can go off, right? So we're just going to go about 10 or 15 seconds there and continue to move up. 10 or 15 seconds there and continue to move up. I haven't done the, the, the full 10 or 15 seconds, but you know what I'm saying. 10 or 15 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds, all the way up. Do both sides, never just mobilize one side. It's a great way to give yourself a headache. If you release one side and the other side is still very tight, it's a great way to get that headache. Not something we wanna do. So here's the, here's the goal. Mobilize, self-release. Go ahead and check rotation, check tension in your head, see how you feel. Questions and comments, guys, post them below. And as always, we are here each and every day, so make sure you are checking back um, as we optimize function to optimize performance.